Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nur Asha and I'm Mijak Zahan Student ID 2020880714 From class A4CS1104B For my individual project I make a game where the user can control a little owl That collects stars for her family It's called Star Chaser I will now start by explaining the component of the first screen the first screen that uh, I created for this app is also the login screen. So you can see right here there's a lot of horizontal arrangement layout. But this actually doesn't do anything and doesn't add much to the app besides keeping it aesthetic. I named the two box, email box and PW box for users to enter their email and password. In the first page, there's also sign up and login button where it will lead to different pages. I will explain more about that later. For now, I want to clarify that this email box and buttons are have a fixed percentage of the screen. For example, this one is 70%. So it will follow, it will respond to like various devices properly. For example, this tablet size the size changes this also happened to my uh, sign up page and my main page beside my own phone my personal phone I have tested AI companion for two other phones and both phone is suitable for running my application before I explain about the blocks from the first screen I want to show the sign up first because it related and I think that would be easier to explain in the sign up page we got three text box that for user to input your email password and phone number to register user just need to press sign in at first I put the sign in button and after the after user have registered you can go directly to the game but for the sake of presentation the sign in button will not do anything other than registering the data so we can see whether the login works or not. The back button is for going back to the login page. As you can see, both sign up and screen one have this notifier and tiny db. Alright, the box. So right now we need a registration page and sign up or sign up. So you can see the back button will open this to screen one, the login page. I already explained that. But the registration button is something else. So you cannot put in blanks in any of those three or the error message asking user to input phone number, password, and email will appear. Only then if the user have filled all three of them, the registration will complete and it will store data. This is the procedure, store data and tinyDB. And I use tinyDB for the database. From what I get the first tag box is like the primary key and the list is the name, the password and the phone number. At first, I've made a big mistake because I thought when you put the text box first, you don't have to put the text box in here first because I thought that it's already count as one. But when I went to log in, the error incorrect email or password keeps showing up every time I try to log in. And I panic because before this, I tried to use PHP my admin, my SQL database, and it went horribly because it never connects. The next time I I tried to use the Firebase, which not going so well because I didn't know how to use that as well. Tiny DB works perfectly for me, and I can assure you, I can prove it to you that it stole my data as well. Aisha, Aisha, one, two, three, four. Doesn't matter. Other user can put it properly. For example, it will get this error. I can only log in with this info. Now for the main part, the user gonna see that the start button with start layout is visible. When we press the start, the layout will be invisible, and user will see the main page. At the main page, there's canvas, which is the background for the game. 
there's heart 1, heart 2, heart 3 which represent how many health points do the user get and there's 3 different design of stars but all 3 have the same form there is pride but you cannot see in the like the add development because it's perched on this it will perch on the branches of your phone when you press it on for horizontal arrangement for down here we have left and we have score and we have right and the last one is this vertical arrangement from here this of nothing but to fill the gap because you see every phone have this button this three button down here and we don't want the user to get confused with these two so this is just right above so we'll add this gap so user will not misclick the other three buttons lastly game over the design is pretty simple this horizontal again is not none other for gap and aesthetic design user will know their total mark the restart is for user can start over the game again I will explain how this will work. First and foremost, I initialize global speed. This is for the stars, the stars start to come down. They will using this speed. And the global HP is for the health point. The three heart that we see is how many that we get. I have explained this before, but I will explain it again. The start button will make the start layout turn invisible the visible turn to false and the main turn to true and the game over will be false and it will initialize the start game procedure when the game is started all three star will have different speed and different spread so how this game work is when the sprite the little owl collide with the stars it will add total score which we can see here the procedure is here the score text plus one it will also increase the speed of star for all three of them to have plus one. Two block here is for the control of sprite. So when you click left, there will another sprite. So it will look like the sprite moves and change stuff. The star plus the name star chase uh, kind of cute to see it's moving like that. This part is for all three stars when they reach the edge, they will minus one heart point one half point from the player which you can see the call game over procedure the call game over procedure is when you minus the global hp the currently three to minus one every time the star reach the edge so when the global hp get to zero it will call the game over it will set the game over screen to be visible and the main to be false and it will stop everything you can see at zero you can see the text cortex this other else if is the global hp is two and would be minus one and one and it's gone the last one is this restart button where it's gonna start the game all over again it will set the heart visible and everything that just disappeared and it's gonna make it back and global hp it's just turning back how the game initially is alright now I'm going to show you how the graphic for this game which is the proudest part of this project overall this is the storyboard I mean in the early development so you can see that yeah the score did not end up there uh, there will be hard there but this is the early development I draw each and single one of this the right button the left button and the little starter for the background wait i can show you the full background this is the full background that i use for all three of my screen this one this is when the owl wants to go right this is when the owl goes to left i'm really proud of this project because not only I've learned how to code with MIT App Inventor, but I also learned how to do pixel art. And I really enjoyed both of it. Thank you, Madam, for giving me this opportunity to learn and work on this project. And that's all for me. Thank you.